What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to share with you guys how to go about setting up chromatic keys for your MPC software while using Serato Sample. Now, it's a very simple process, but uh, if you don't know how to do it, you'll never you'll never get it for those of us who like to use the mpc all the time um and the pad performance mode uh it's a little tricky with serato sample because serato sample starts at uh at c1 and goes up 16 keys right so it goes from c1 to C, D, C, D, E, C, E flat, right? So, um, when you're using, if you don't have a controller, like a MIDI keyboard, it's a little bit difficult if you want to use the pads themselves. So, a little trick is, I got this random sample. When you find samples, right? So it, it goes up the scale chromatic chromatically. So what you want to do is you want to go into tools and no i'm sorry you want to go into edit and you want to go to program and right here where it says note mapping you click note mapping and change it from classic mpc to chromatic chromatic right so now, close this. So now, when you, so now, when you, go to your pad mode, you're able to play the slices from the pad rather than playing it from a keyboard, right? So again, you go to tools, I'm sorry, you go to program, you go to note mapping, you change it from classic MPC to chromatic, I'm gonna change it back to Chromat to um, classic MPC just to show you guys. So see if I press C. Like it's all over the place, right? Go to program, note mapping, chromatic. So the other the other little trick that I want to show you guys or share with you is you go to pad perform mode right now you go to I don't think it matters you know that it starts on C1 So what you do is,
you press record and go up the go up the scale. I'm gonna do that real quick for you. So the, again, the pro, this this part of it doesn't really matter. You might want to get it all into uh, the play right right behind each other. Process a is a little tedious, but once you set it up one time, you don't have to do it again. It'll always be there. That is 16, right? Alright, so once you have this part set up, where you have the 16 pads going in a row, you go to tools. Where is it? And right here where it says convert to new progression, you would choose a progression name. I'm gonna name it Serato. Serato. Pad. Romantic pads. And you want to choose the root note. It already detects it, the root note. The major type. I, I don't think that really matters. Right? Because it's going from C all the way up to D. Uh, to D. So I don't think the... That doesn't matter. That's below root. I'm not sure what that is, but nonetheless, it shows you where it's saving it to. In my case, it's saving it to my hard drive and uh, the library. That's where it's gonna save to. You press do it. Now, you go to path before mode. You go to progressions. I really wish you guys could see it. I hope the camera's picking it up. They still haven't brought back the LCD. Akai, you guys need to bring back the LCD window. We're missing that. Anyway, you go to uh, progressions. And you go all the way down. And usually, depending on what you name it, uh, it'll be in alphabetical order. So I named mine Serato Chromatic Pads. And it's in alphabetical order. So now... Now you might say, hey, that's, that's doing a lot. You could just do it on the pads regular yeah you can but when when it's on the pad regular the way that it's set up is that if you're in home if you're if you're in the main screen and you're in the pad regular as you can see here it says c1 right it stops at it starts on the on pad 5 and stops at pad 16 you have to go to another bank right to get it to go to uh, D sharp, right? So when you're into pad perform mode and you got the progressions, oh, oh. 
doesn't matter and I show you Serato sample it don't it doesn't matter what sample it is it'll always be that because the way Serato sample is 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 uh how Serato sample works it starts from C1 to D sharp right I hope you guys learned something from that. Uh, if there are any comments or concerns or questions, be sure to post it up in the comment section. I will be sure to get back at you at my most earliest convenience. All right, so do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, light. Till next time. Peace.